Is Boost still life? Or is Boost dead? Me, I say Boost is still awesome. I still love it. And think about this. Whenever a new sneaker comes out, say like a running lifestyle type shoe, one of the first questions we get every time, one of the first questions is, how do they compare to Boost? Are they better than Boost? Are they as comfortable as Boost? See, if Boost was dead, nobody would even ask, but they do. So Boost is still alive. Now, I got a pair of the Nike React Element 87s recently. If you have not seen that whole video, we'll put a link in the description. You can go check that out. But first, I posted a picture of them, I think, um, on my Instagram story. I think that was where I first posted them. And literally, the first three or four comments, three or four messages were, are they more comfortable than Boost? So here it is. It's time for the breakdown. Hit me with the uh, with the Lauren Hill sample. No. Why not? I mean, Drake Drake did it. Drake paid for it. Okay, fine. Nonetheless, it is still time for the breakdown. It is time for our breakdown. The Nike React Element 87 versus the Adidas Ultra Boost. Right off the bat, the 87 is $160 and the Ultra Boost is $180. So Nike has the better price point. Retail wise anyway. Now you can get Ultra Boost on sale now. And I think that the Element 87, at least initially, is gonna be a sneaker that sells out quick. So you get what I'm saying. But retail wise, the Element 87. Let's talk about the fit really quickly. The Ultra Boost runs a little bit big, maybe a half size. And the Element 87 runs a tad snug, maybe a half size. I did not have the luxury of getting half sizes with either of these, so I, I size 13 is what I went with, and it's fine. The Ultra Boost fits a little bit big, and the Element 87 fits a little bit small. It's not to the point where it affects comfort, and both are super comfy right out of the box. It's, it's difficult to compare React and Boost because they are different kinds of comfortable for lack of a better way to explain it. But I'll do my best as far as comparing the comfort. The Ultra Boost is softer, spongier, you sink into it more, more of that cloud-like feeling, whereas React is more firm. It gives just enough, it absorbs just enough to where they're still really comfortable, but also more responsive. Now, with these two sneakers, responsiveness doesn't really matter because they're both lifestyle sneakers. Neither one of these shoes are shoes that you're gonna want to run a marathon in, but it is something to note. Also, this React is a lot chunkier than the Boost. It's also a lot chunkier than other React models. It's more chunky than the Epic React. It's more chunky than the Odyssey React. It's very, very chunky. I mean, you look at these side by side, it's chunky cushioning. Also, this React is a lot chunkier than the Boost. There's just more of it and you can feel the difference when they're on your feet. So I love that about the Element 87s. The materials is another aspect I, I wanna talk about because I think aesthetically, the Element 87 is way better, but the Ultra Boost feels better. There's more padding, the prime knit is just a little bit more cozy. So I think the upper, the materials used on the upper, it goes to the Ultra Boost. The one real question mark for me regarding the Element 87 is durability, and time will tell as far as that goes. You know we will update you, we will give you a durability test, all of that good stuff. But man, right out of the box, I, I'm, I'm shocked at how comfortable the Element 87 is. I think the cushioning is actually on par in its own way with Boost. The regular Epic React isn't. It's comfortable, but it's not on par with Boost. But these, because they're so chunky, man, it feels like heaven, it really does. Still, I would give the nod to Boost on overall comfort, especially because of the materials that they used on the rest of the shoe, like I just mentioned. And it also fits me a little bit better, just as far as the shape of the shoe goes and my foot personally. I'd give the Element 87 a huge edge, just as far as how cool it looks. Aesthetically, I think it looks way better. And also the price point is better, like I mentioned. So I think because comfort-wise, it's right there, and then to me it looks so much better. If I'm reaching for a sneaker right now, I'm not gonna reach for the Ultra Boost. I'm gonna reach for the Element 87. Now, you know, that's just me. If you know me, 
you know that I love Ultra Boost. I still love Ultra Boost, but these Element 87s are marvelous. I mean, I mean, they really, really are. I think it's going to be sneaker of the year for me. I know it's early, but, but that's what I think. Let me know how you feel about these sneakers, which is better. You know, I've never been a guy who picks brand, it has to be Nike, has to be Adidas. I enjoy both. I love Adidas. I love Boost. I love everything that Nike is doing. I think Nike has answered the bell. So that's how I feel about it. Let me know what you think. Leave a comment below. Always love to hear from you. Thank you for watching. Hopefully this video was helpful. We will be back tomorrow. Same time, same place. See you then. I'm out of here. Thank you.